people are becoming more familiar with like traditional media being a scam and you know having a decade or two decades long of like misinformation do you think that it'll be a decline in traditional media and a rise in i would call personal media companies which is like you myself this podcast or do you think that pendulum swing will they'll infect it basically and reverse it because these big media companies are so large they'll infect it they'll infect it because it's merely your ability to control technological advancements Mm. so the radio in the beginning was probably seldom and it was probably wholesome and it was probably good but over time it was controlled television in the beginning was probably pretty decent in the beginning you had shows that were probably pretty good you saw that become corrupted and censored and manipulated over time you saw it in the beginning of the internet people had a great time on the internet Mm -hmm. people weren't as censored people could actually speak their truth today you go on instagram and you write on a comment bitch and that will get deleted right because of bullying or fat yeah because of bullying right so technological advancements initially are uh, kind of waves of freedom and then eventually they kind of get condensed and censored so we are in a gap over the next three to five years where personal brands and and these micro communities and these online kind of personas are trending and are popular mm-hmm. but eventually at the end of the day there's gatekeepers to social media platforms there's gatekeepers to access of information and like I said, most people, you know, if they want to learn anything about Luke Belmar, they just go to Google and type Luke Belmar. And they assume that that's true, that that's the reality of Luke Belmar. And it's just, it's really just not, it's so far from the truth mm-hmm. because it's controlled, it's managed, and it's segmented from truth in reality. So I think right now, yes, absolutely. People would fucking hate the media, but what is holding the media from just controlling a ton of individuals at a personal level and running their podcasts and controlling the narrative at an individualistic level under the guise of individualism and Mm. personal brand. So you look at, for example, uh, kind of Mr. Beast and his crew, right? They're all individual personal brands. Cool, but who are they managed by? Night Media. Okay, and who's Night Media owned by? Disney. So you basically have glorified Disney kids that have contracts that they have to say certain things, that they have to run certain agendas. And they don't really have a choice. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Mr. Beast Study School. How can you prepare for that as a result? Because you're building your brand and you have to think like chess, right? Two steps ahead, three steps ahead. You get shot down today or tomorrow for what you say and what you do. Like, how do you still get your message out and how should people be preparing for this? Because that's what happened. It happened Tate, happens everyone, happened a lot of the scientists coming out from COVID. They're just gone, right? Wiped off the face of our internet. I mean, you have to break the internet. You have to break the algorithm. I think Tate did a great job at that, at showing that even algorithms can be absolutely demolished with mm-hmm. with absolute sheer willpower. What happens when an unstoppable force meets an immovable object? You know, that's one of these, these physics questions that are hard to answer. So when you have individuals that want to get their message out bad enough, not because of money, not because of any sort of agenda beyond spreading truth, that's very hard to censor. I mean, right now we manage over 3000 accounts, right? That's all Luke Belmar content. We post a video every probably about every 60 seconds. My goal is to reduce that to about once every five seconds. So how can you ban that? How can you censor that? It's very hard to censor. Yeah, you may censor a couple pages, main pages. You may run a couple articles and talk down on certain individuals, but with sheer power and sheer sheer numbers, Mm -hmm. it's unstoppable. There's no algorithm that can break. Talk me through that. Like, how is that done? And like, what's even the growth of it being as a result? Uh, Over 2 billion views, first year of content. 